Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a nice geometric diamond shaped pendant necklace. Let's get started. You'll need 1 16th inch metal tube. I'm using aluminum, but I also made some with brass. 32 gauge wire, wire strippers, needle nose pliers, a marker, and necklace chain. The one I have is 30 inches and already has the clasp and everything on it, but if you just have straight up chain, then you'll have to attach those to yours. Cut the tube down to 6 1 inch pieces, 6 half inch pieces, 6 1 fourth inch pieces, and 6 5 8 inch pieces. To keep things organized, I suggest jotting these measurements down on a piece of paper so you can keep each piece under its respective measurement. So I initially got this small pipe cutter to use with these tubes because if you use normal wire cutters, it crimps the tube together at the ends rendering that piece useless, for this project anyway. The problem, however, is that the 1 16th inch tubes that I got were too small to use in this cutter. See, the cutter won't tighten anymore. My solution was to use a pair of wire strippers. The areas on it that are meant for actually cutting through wire are curved instead of being flat like normal wire cutters. My hope was that it wouldn't crimp the ends, and for the most part, it worked. So again, cut six of each size. Once you're done cutting, check each end to make sure it's not squished down too much. If it is, use your pliers to gently round it back out. Cut a piece of wire to about 36 inches. Find the midpoint and fold it in half. On one end, thread a one inch piece. On the other end, thread a one inch piece and then a half inch piece. Thread the first piece of wire through the half inch piece and pull it tight. It should form a triangle like this. With one of the wires, thread on a half inch piece followed by a one inch piece. Thread it back through the first 1 inch piece. And then back through the half inch piece that you just added. Repeat this, threading it through the 1 inch tube and then the half inch tube until you have only one half inch piece left. Thread that piece on, and then wrap the wire around this corner joint part, and then back through that half inch tube. Make sure to pull the wire completely through. You may need to use some needle nose pliers towards the end when the wire starts getting short. By now, the wire should be shorter than an inch. If not, then trim it down to about half an inch to three-fourths of an inch, and then stick it into the one-inch tube nearest to it. Use the pliers to help you get it completely in the tube. Now for the top. On the remaining wire, thread a one-fourth inch piece, a five-eighths inch piece, and then another one-fourth inch piece. And then thread it through the next half-inch piece. Thread 
Repeat this until you're back where you started. Then thread up through the 1 4 inch tube. Now add another 5 8 inch tube and then thread it through the next 5 8 inch tube. Then add another, then thread through. Add another, then thread through until you've used all the pieces and it looks like a diamond. When you reach the end, loop the wire through the corner joint and then thread it back through the 5 8 inch tube like you did earlier with the half inch piece. Thread it down the 1 4 inch tube and then down the 1 inch tube to get the wire to the bottom. This part will have a little gap, like this, and the wire that you just threaded down should be coming out of one of the tubes on either side of the gap. Stick the wire back through the tube on the other side of the gap, pulling it tight to close it. Then thread it back up through the 1 4 inch tube to get it back to the top. Wrap the wire around that corner joint. You can stop here, cut the wire to about half an inch, and thread it into a tube to secure the end. Or, if you want to make a loop for a jump ring or something, you could thread the wire through one of the tubes, leaving a little bit of extra wire. Twist that wire a few times, and you'll have a little part to attach a jump ring. Thread the wire through one of the tubes, really it doesn't matter which, and then cut the wire short and thread it back through another tube to secure that end. And then you're done making the diamond shape. Just thread it onto a necklace chain and you're done. As I mentioned before, this chain that I got already had the clasp, so if you're using normal chain you'll have to add that. I ended up removing the little loop because I like the look of the chain just going straight through the diamond shape. Here's the one that I made in brass. I love how this turned out. It pretty much turned out exactly like how I was picturing it in my head, which is pretty nice. I made this to be a long pendant necklace, but really, there's nothing stopping you from making it into a short necklace. I also think that it would be cute to make two of these and then turning them into earrings. In fact, I might end up doing that later. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, and if you want to see more then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, or Pinterest, and I'll leave the information to those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week.